we invited two friends to come together to play the game Table Talk. The catch, only a set of uncomfortable questions will be asked. Only one of them will know who they are going to talk to. Participants are to draw a card out from the deck and read the questions given. They will then need to answer as honestly as they can. Hello! <laughs> honestly, are you tired? Why? Um, I was tired this morning because I didn't want to wake up. <laughs> Like mentally tired or like physically, like mentally draining you. I think school is a bit tiring because I'm just looking forward to end of DP. But it's not like stressing me out until I cannot handle it or anything. Honestly, how are you? Honestly, I'm scared. Scared for what? About my medical issues. I told you just now. You know, elaborate a little more. Like, okay, I have this medical condition that that is attacking my own cells. So I, like to my friends, I'm playing it like cool and oh. see, like not serious. I'm actually really scared about it. Cause like, even though I say I'm not, like I'm just the side effects is just tired, right? I feel something different with me. Something different. Yeah. Why didn't you say it before? Cause like I feel, <laughs> I feel like cause I'm older than everyone else, right? Then I have to put on this front that I'm okay, but I'm not. We got you. Thanks, baby. Got you. It's okay. You're gonna make me cry too now. <laughs> I can see the water. <laughs> If you were a parent, what would you do differently from your own? I think I would be more understanding. But actually, the understanding, I don't think... I don't think I would do anything different. The very true one. Who is someone in your life that you are scared of losing? I guess pretty much everyone that's in my life right now, including you guys. Because I, I'm the type of person who hates changes so when you know when we graduate and everything and everyone is going to the different pathways that they have chosen it feels like we might drift apart which is something that I don't really want but you know it, it's gonna come so I'm just scared of the changes basically and I just want to keep everyone I have right now close including you so just remember that Share a time you suppress your feelings and broke down. <laughs> when uh, there was once I was I was in China, I was going to come back to Singapore to study because my holiday was ending. I remember that time um, I was at my grandmother's house living for the airport. Then every time uh, my grandparents wouldn't wouldn't send me to the airport because they're like oh, so they only send me to the dock. Then I went out to the leave. Then, yeah. <laughs> then I would don't want to leave my grandmother, so I went back. I ran back to her. I hugged her. <laughs> then, <laughs> ah, then she pushed me away, cause, cause she don't want me to, to feel that she also miss me. And yeah, she pushed me away. Then I went to airport. Then I cry. <laughs> Where's your mom? My mom is in Singapore. I came back alone. <laughs> yeah. Then that time, I wasn't very old. I was like 12, 13. Yeah. Every time leaving her is like hard. Ah. Ah. Share a time you disappointed yourself and how were you encouraging your past self? It started in school. Lah. Like, I didn't really study well properly. And then I always had this perception that, oh, I don't want to go to ITE because I also like heard everybody's opinions about it. So I felt that, like, oh, city doesn't belong in ITE and stuff like that. But then when I finally, like, I did O levels the first time, and then I didn't study properly. And then I did 
did it a second time because I thought, oh, maybe Cindy can do better. But I still failed at it. <laughs> then like failing twice at something is like, it's like, what, what is it you know, thing, right, Cynthia? <laughs> so I decided to go to ITE. But then that was like, I think one of the best decisions that ever like came about it. Like, I learned to accept like, my weaknesses that I'm not, like, though I'm not good at academics wise, I'm good with like hands-on activities. So my advice and like how I encourage, how I would encourage my past self would be to not take things so serious and to just enjoy the process because there is a path set up for you. You're not going to find it now. You're probably going to find it later on, but you will end up on that path where you belong. <laughs>